Hi guys, this is Rich from Rich to Be Live, and Martello Technologies Group just keeps climbing. And it's traded 4 million shares, up 14.55% today. Now it's 63 cents. I did predict it would go to a dollar. We are more than halfway there now. Let's take a look at the American symbol, DRKOF, Martello Technologies Group. Let's see how it's doing in America today. And bam, up 14%. There we go. At 48 and a half cents, it is not stopping. I've told you guys, Bruce Linton is the most powerful man in the cannabis industry. And this isn't even a cannabis stock, this is a technology stock. But the amount of people that are following this man is driving the price up, and I believe it continues. And it just has, it just keeps going on and on and on. Another company that was in the news today is Kush Bottles, KSHB. They just announced that they are filing an application to move up to the NASDAQ, and the stock is moving up in kind. I told you guys under $5, if you've been watching and listening for a while now, that this is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, being attacked by the shorters. They have their tactics, and I just see this company going way, way higher. Here's the news right here. Kushko Holdings announces filing of application to list on the NASDAQ. This is richtvlive.com where you can find this information right here. Kushko Holdings announces filing of application to list on the NASDAQ Global Select Market. KSHB today announced it has filed an application to list the company's common shares on the NASDAQ Global Select Market. Nick Kovosevich, chairman and chief executive officer of Kushko, commented, listing on the NASDAQ Global Select Market, the highest and most prestigious NASDAQ tier, will raise the company's profile by diversifying our shareholder base and enhancing share liquidity in support of our company's long-term goals and objectives. The listing of the company's common shares on the NASDAQ remains subject to the approval of the NASDAQ and the satisfaction of all applicable listing and regulatory requirements. In the interim, the company will continue to trade on the OTC markets under the symbol KSHB. That's interesting. They might they might change their symbol. About Kushko Holdings, Kushko Holdings Inc. Kushko.com is the website. KSHB is the symbol on the OTCQX exchange. Is the premier producer of ancillary products and services to the cannabis and hemp industries. Kushko Holdings subsidiaries and brands provide product quality exceptional customer service, compliance knowledge, and a local presence in serving its diverse customer base. Founded in 2010, Kushko Holdings has now sold more than 1 billion units to growers, processors, and producers across North America, South America, and Europe. Wow, that's that's a crazy amount, 1 billion units. The company has been featured in media nationwide, including CNBC, Los Angeles Times, TheStreet.com, Entrepreneur, Inc. Magazine, while Kushko Holdings provides products and solutions to customers in the cannabis and CBD industries, it has no direct involvement with the cannabis plant or any products that contain THC or CBD. Love this company. I see it going way, way higher. This is big news for Kushko. Now, if you want to use richtvlive.com, you can go to US Pot Index. And we can take a look at how the market is doing. Oh, so far in the U.S., we are green, slightly up, just over, uh, just under half a percent. And you can see there are some big losers today. Wow, Tilt is taking it on the chin again. Oh, it looks like some life from Golden Leaf Holdings. Not much volume. So you can see some of the winners there so far today. Kush goes at the bottom of the list. And if you look at the bigger players... You can see Cura's somewhat green today. Acreage is somewhat green. Charlotte's Web, once again, is maintaining that momentum. Kushko is green, but nothing crazy so far that I see. Now we take a look at the Canadian index. That's the US index. Let's take a look at the Canadian index. Are we red or are we green today? Oh, we are red. We are down 1.11%. 1.39%, 1.11 points. And the thing that really gets my attention is we're at 78.78. The 52-week low is 73.22. We are very close to the 52-week low. 52-week high is 110. We are very far from the 52-week high, which to me screams opportunity. 
Look at all the red. There's a lot of red. Lots of red here. So definitely taking a bunch on the chin here. Organogram is slightly green. Delta 9 is slightly green. Chiron is slightly green. For the most part, we are seeing a lot of red. Cantrust is leading the way in red with some really bad news. I'm going to get into that on another video. But yeah, they had some really bad news today. Because of that, the stock is falling. And a lot of stocks are falling. And once again, canopy growth is falling while MTLO is climbing. I think that's a sign of what is to come. This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live bringing you the news. We'll keep you guys updated. We'll be back soon. Stay tuned. The stocks to watch right now are MTLO, which just keeps winning for members. I mean, unbelievable. I can't believe this thing has gone from 18 cents to now where it's at. Where are we at? 65 cents up 18% and it's not stopping folks. Bruce Linton and Martello are on a mission to shock the world and they are Martello Technologies Group, the hot pick of the day, the hot pick of last week, the hot pick of July so far and I believe this continues all the way to a dollar just on hype alone and Kushko Bottles KSHB has made an application to move to the NASDAQ. This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. We'll see you soon.